Hello, my friends from Qatari Labs. My name is Roman Montoya. Please have a great day. Uh, we are going to start a tutorial about how to export Modflow head controls as chef files with Flowpipe. Okay. So for this exercise, what we are going to do is actually okay. We are not going to use this. We are not going to use this. Need okay. So here you are going to have you are going to get the zipped version of this folder okay and in this folder what you are going to find is actually a model in modflow nwt that um, the modflow is a regional model and but the code is actually intended for every every model i mean like uh, for local regional whatever um, okay, so what we are, what we want is to export the head contours. Okay, here we have heads. Okay, for example, here we have heads. Uh, however, um, if we want to export it from Model Muse, we have to go File, Export, Chef File, and Contours to Chef File, and then you will export. But what what will happen if you wanted to do it with Flowpipe? Okay, so that's what we are going to do now. Okay, so I can close this. So for that, we are going to use the powerful Python. And for this as well, we are going to use environment that has GeoPandas and all the just special stuff installed. <coughs> I say Conda. And there is a tutorial to install this environment in that it will be on the description of the video as well contact by geo that is um, this is an environment that has if i if i type pip list has shapely has uh, um, what else what else has uh, fiona gidal uh, geopandas okay so this is the geo special environment and then here we are going to type Jupyter Lab. Mm -hmm. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not from here because uh, what is recommended is that you do it, that you place the, that you unzip the folder and you place it under your documents. So here in documents, you should see export mod flow. This is the, you unzip and then you should find the directory here under your document because you have to go to the uh, CD, uh, okay, CD export, okay, and here from that under the environment geo, you are going to find Jupyter Lab, okay, great. Great. So kernel, okay, so this has the model, the scripts, and a place to store the output chef files. Okay, I'm going to delete all of these chef files because okay, because I want to prove that those chef files are being generated by the code. Delete, delete, okay, great. So and here on the scripts, I'm going to open control generation, kernel, and clear all outputs, clear all outputs. Okay, first we run the chip file. We are going to use uh, Python. Later on, we import Fiona, but in this case, we, we as yeah. Well, we define the model name, the working directory, and then we load the mod flow model, uh, and this uh, version NWT. So this, okay. Then we have to find the lower left corner and the rotation. And where do you have this? If you have done your model through Model Muse, Model Muse, you can find on the this file. On the this file, 
you can find the lower left corner here and the rotation here as well. So this is really handy in order to georeferencate your mode. So here you are going to have, and actually you are not required to do the DLR and DLC. Let me check if you, no, this is not required, okay, as well. So yes, we copy and paste the X of lower left, the Y of lower legs, the APSG, that is the system of reference, and the rotation. Okay, and then you set the coordinate info. Okay, just run this. And then we can, well, we can plot the grid. Okay, and this is important because the contours will be actually from Matplotlib. Okay, so what we are it's not that we have interpolated us. I mean, how to say? Okay. It's not that we have interpolated the heads, okay, for this tutorial. It's that we have extracted the contour from Matplotlib. You're going to see that, okay? And then we, here we import the, import head data, head data, okay? And then we have only one time. And then uh, find shape. This is the shape of the fine. This is the number of rows, case, and columns. So shape is chief enter. Five layers, 138 rows, 75 columns. Okay, and then we define an empty array because uh, this is in order to prevent some that the contours will. Okay, if you define a zero outside of the active area, you will, or the, your contours will round all the model. Okay, I don't know if you get this, but uh, well, this is, that's why you define that everything is empty and then you fill the values. And this is for the water table. Okay, so in this case, we are going to do the water table. Yeah, that's what we, do a loop here. If you want to do it, you can do, I mean, you can tweak this code in order to export the heads for a specific layer as well, or for the drown down as well. I mean, this is really up to you. Okay, and this is the heads, and whatever is not here in the heads is not a number. Okay, then we, uh, we have to, I mean, since you are going to export contours, you need an interval, okay? And this interval is, you need uh, to have the minimum and maximum, and then this is the minimum and the maximum of the heads, okay? And then you define the contour number, so we are going to work with 25 contours, yeah? And this is really up to you, you can specify, I mean, like you can go from 3,450 to 4,400, I mean, this is really up to you. I mean, this is just how I did it. Okay, and then we can plot the heads. Okay, here, this is the heads, and this is the layer, the contour array. Okay, and this is the object that we are going to exploit, the contour, okay? And then the, we will plot as well the heads, and then as well the, um, no, nothing else. And the grid. Okay. Great. So how we are going to explode this? Okay. Then we use Fiona, that is the geospatial library. Then we define the then the we I mean we are not going to export only the the contours, but we are going to export the metadata, I mean the contour value. Okay, that's why we get a field that is called drown. No, this case, the field is called uh, a head, no, water table, water table. Okay, great. And then this is, uh, we open the a water table shape object. Okay, we define the EPSG. Okay, that it has this schema. And this, I mean, from the contours, that is, the, the contours, this is this object that is plotted here, okay? So uh, we do an iteration, and from this iteration, we get a, li a tuple list, okay? And, well, you have to search for the what 
what is a tuple. I mean, you can play around with the with the control, but you will see what is a uh, what is inside this op this object. Okay, and then you create your row dict, and then you paste on the properties the water table as the contour C value of index. Okay. Uh, what else? If there is an index error, uh, what does it mean an index error that you can get, uh, for example, contours of zero length? That uh, could be. You pass and then you close the file. So this do the magic. So and then here, oh, here on QES, that is a great software and it's free because you know open source software is the one that will create open source software is I mean we know that the world has many challenge due to climate change and other issues so if we think about the software that could or the type of software that could help us to solve those challenges I think that open source software is the is key because it's accessible it's of high quality and it's under really heavy development and we can do great stuff here okay so these are the he these are the water tables so and then if we open the layer if we open the attribute table the attribute table has all the contours here and then we can do some fancy stuff like on symbology Ca categorized classify no categorized by water table classify on blues okay great and then you can do as well the labels single label water table of zero decimals with buffer okay up to you blue eight okay and then you can apply as well the a google satellite okay and then here you have your contour this is the, the water table but as a check file with all the attributes okay just remember that all the files will be on the description of the video um, and you are invited to follow us our tutorials our webinars and our courses that we are going to be continue the uh, offering through the to our website and hope to I hope that you have a great day once again and see you later on. Okay? Bye bye. Have a great day.